we are going to be looking at these lotions to see if there's really any difference with them or it's just like a marketing scheme and also if there's really any difference which one should you go for which one is like the best option amongst them if this um, Nivea Q10 lotion is so perfect or is so good for the skin like everyone says why do I have this um, Nivea repair and care lotion by the end of this video you should be able to decide which Nivea lotion is best for you if there is any that is even best for you in the first place Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Dikan, aka Dikoko, aka Queen of DIYs, and that is because I also have DIY videos on this channel, so you might do well to check that out if you may, if you're interested, if that's your cup of tea. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in. You know you have my heart. Internet hugs to all of you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support, the comments, the likes, and everything. I'm really grateful for all of that. So this is another Skin Deep with Dikan episode where we do product reviews. We do skincare advice tips and tricks to just overall help you with the betterment of your skincare routine and we also do product recommendations and a lot of other things so it's basically just us discussing skin and skincare so yeah if this is your cup of tea and you're not subscribed definitely make sure that you're subscribed because I would love to have you much longer on this channel so in today's video we are going to be reviewing this body lotions the Nivea ones and as you can see I have a good number of Nivea lotions here with me and here is the Q10 ones which is like the very popular one in their line right now everyone loves the Nivea Q10 lotion so first off we are going to be starting with the popular ones the star of the show which is the Nivea Q10 everybody loves Nivea Q10 but let me first of all put out a misconception there that the um, white one is for um, light skinned people and the blue one is for dark skinned people no they are both just moisturizing lotions for everyone every skin tone and all of that so yeah but then the only difference is that this one is a more lightweight lotion and is for normal skin people and this one is like for people with drier skin types so yeah that's the only difference with these two but then let us still go right into this to see if there's really any difference between these two lotions so first what we are going to do with this is that we are going to go to the Nivea website to see the claims of this lotion just quickly before I give my verdict on this because I have used them and I'm going to tell you how I feel about them, what I think about the claims that this lotion has on the Nivea page. So here is the Nivea um, UK page. First of all, I would like to mention that sometimes the packaging might have like a slight difference depending on the country that you live. I live in Istanbul, Turkey, so here is how it looks. But then looking through the website and also the language is also in Turkish, obviously. But then looking at the one on the UK website, I can see that it looks a little bit different. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. I, and I think this happens with Nivea across countries, so they just look sometimes there's like a slight difference with the packaging so you can always keep that in mind so you don't feel like maybe you're not getting the real thing for the normal skin one this one says that it firms the skin and improves elasticity in just 10 days okay that's a huge claim and um, moisturizes skin for 48 hours for a smooth skin feeling another huge claim i don't know if any lotion can actually moisturize you for 48 hours light texture for normal skin okay and says here yeah, new pump format for convenient usage i do agree with that and um, to find out more about this it says that the nivea q10 firming body lotion with vitamin c noticeably firms the skin and improves elasticity in 10 days now in a pump format the lotion's light texture is perfect for normal skin this fantastic new formula containing skin's own coenzyme Q10 and vitamin C moisturizes skin for 48 hours, providing a smooth skin feeling. Um, so for the application, it says to apply generously and blah, blah, blah. So now that's what it says. Um, and then it also goes into the special ingredients in this lotion. 
so let's check what's really special about the Nivea Q10 line and why everyone seems to like it or not so now it says it has vitamin C it also says it has Q10 energy and it says it has creatine and also has L carnitine or carnitine I don't know how that is pronounced but yeah those are like four of the special ingredients in this formula so now let's also go into the properties of this one this one that is for um, dry skin types it says the same thing it firms the skin and improves elasticity um, in 10 days intensively moisturizes skin for 48 hours for a smooth skin feeling so it's almost the same hours of moisturization that you are supposed to get with these two and then um, rich texture for dry skin so this um, probably has a richer texture than the other one for people with drier skin also speaks about the pump format for um, convenient use also let us also go into the special ingredients in this one and the special ingredient here is also Q10 energy I'm guessing that's why it's the Nivea Q10 obviously and then it also has vitamin C okay so those are the only two important or special ingredients in the one for dry skin so now it makes me wonder if they are really the same lotion and now this one seems or is supposed to have more ingredients speaking of moisture because it's supposed to be for dry skin right but the Nivea UK website does not mention anything that has to do with moisture in this one so now my review about this having used the both of them is that they are pretty much almost the same thing if anything this one seems to have um, a lot more ingredients that are actually more beneficial to the skin than this one does this one is supposed to be for dry skin types but this does not mention um, any special ingredients that actually caters to dry skin and it makes me really wonder and now when you move to the texture of these um, lotions in my opinion they are almost the same but I do notice a little um, bit of longer lasting moisture with this one I use this one during um, the when the weather is getting chilly not like the winter months but when the weather is getting a little bit chilly I use this one because um, because my skin tends to get drier as we go further into the winter months so um, I use this around like chilly months like during spring or just when it's about to be um, winter like that little awkward time that we have and the weather just, is just cold but not extremely cold so that's when I use this one on my skin so yeah there is a little bit of a difference nothing too significant honestly in my opinion sometimes i just feel like it could be um just a marketing thing to just have like lines of products but also of course they do consider these companies do consider that people have different skin types so they do cater to that so even if they don't mention on the uk website that there is something here that might just give a lot more moisture for your skin it seems to me that there is something here that actually gives a lot more moisture for your skin for a longer um, period of time this one is really lightweight it also moisturizes your skin so well but this one actually has a little bit of more moisture than this one has but this one seems to have a lot more ingredients or special ingredient that caters to the skin than this one so in my opinion which one should you get you should definitely get the one that caters to your skin but if your skin is not really dry and all of that and you just have to go for one option then i would advise that you go for the q10 the one for the normal skin type but then if you feel like your skin needs a lot more moisture then definitely go for the uh, one for the dry skin which is the blue one so for the price points for this it says um on the uk website it says 9.20 nine pounds um i would put the equivalent in dollar but i personally got this for i think i actually got each of them for like 60 tier but it was on sale when i got them i always buy my moisturizing lotions when they are on sale because come on they're just moisturizing lotions so um anything to save the coins you don't really have to spend so much on lotions so yeah so that's a tip that you can keep in mind or you can always try to get your lotions because they do run some sales sometimes in some um, retail brands like watson's i don't know which you have in your country where you live but here we have watson's we have gratis and all of that 
which other one i think revolve yeah so i just look out for the sales time so you can do same i think in places like the us it could be walmart is it walmart that you guys buy these things from your local beauty supply store so now if this um nivea q10 lotion is so perfect or is so good for the skin like everyone says why do i have this um nivea repair and care lotion so now let's get into this one so now getting into the repair and care lotion let me get into what it says on the website here on the also the nivea um uk website it says um 72 hours relief from dry tight skin formula infused with intense moisture serum and this pantanol um lotion cares for your skin and works in balance with its microbiome so the special ingredients in this is a deep moisture serum and dex pantanol so now um, i think we discussed already on this channel about dex pantanol what dex pantanol does on the skin it is that it um softens up your skin especially if you have dry um, scaly and itchy skin it just softens up your skin and as it softens it up with deep moisture it, it helps with getting the dry scaly part of your skin fall off to expose like newer softer and supple skin so yes i have used this lotion and how do i feel about this lotion it is actually one of the lotions that i have used from nivea that actually does what it claims yes it has really really intense moisture it does repair and care for the skin but what i do notice about this lotion is that when you're putting it on your skin it doesn't feel extremely thick or um just too greasy on the skin but there is something about the formula of this lotion that just makes it perfect for the skin for moisture as well because you're putting on a lotion that seems lightweight but actually moisturizes your skin i don't know what um formula they use for this i don't know what technology that was used for this but i think it's a really really good one that they did here this is one of their best lotions for me and um that is because it actually does the moisturizing job even if those other two that i had earlier mentioned they do the job as well but this if you have like really really dry skin and it actually says here that it's for really dry skin or very dry skin so um if you do have really dry skin or you just need something that would moisturize you better during the winter months if you live in a cold region then this is for you but if you live in a hot region then this is not really for you um or this might be hectic for you so yeah there's also the nivea um body lotion the aloe vera one that one too is a good lotion um i have used that one once um but it didn't really do much for me it was just like a regular lotion it's like all the other lotions in like the line it just feels like it's like different flavors of the same thing yeah, i never repurchased that one it was just there honestly and yeah that's it for this video i think i have said everything that i wanted to talk about or touch on on this thing if you feel like there's something i have not touched on you can drop a comment in the um, comment section and i'll definitely answer that so yeah for the price point i think it would depend on the country where you live the currency but then i think it should range or it should be towards the same range and yeah this is my own personal review of these lotions this video was not sponsored in any way it is my honest review but then nivea if you do see this video and you feel like you want to sponsor your girl to do some videos for you i mean what am i doing with my time which one should you go for according to what i have said now i think you should be able to pick the one that you want or you think would do better with your skin so with all this information laid right in front of you i think you should be able to make your decision for yourself um i would just say that if you just need something to moisturize your skin and your skin is just normal then you can go for the q10 one the one for normal skin and um since you it does have a lot more special ingredients that i do believe are beneficial for the skin then definitely you should go for that so yeah about the claims with the firming of the skin honestly if i'm being honest i've not seen any significant change in how firm my skin is now and how it used to be so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you do feel like there's something that i did not mention something of an interest to you that you would like to know please drop a comment down below or drop a question down below i will do well to get at that and yeah if you have any comments if you've used any of this lotion and you feel like there's something that you would like people to know you can also drop a comment down below because people just like to know other people's opinion on this before they
they actually make their purchase so you can be helping someone out there by dropping a comment down below and yes if you reach this point in this video please make sure that you're subscribed if you're not and thumbs up this video because it goes a long way in helping my youtube algorithm it helps in making my channel grow and you know i'm always trying to keep the numbers up so that's important to me so yeah i would really appreciate your help with that and yeah thank you so much for watching this video so i do have other videos on this channel showing you how to use your nivea lotions for a more um, effective result on your skin that way it's not just a bland moisturizing lotion but it actually does something for your skin so yeah definitely do well to check those ones out and also check out my diy videos and as usual i wish you a perfect beautiful and luscious skin and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah.